Hi everyone, I'm Katrine with the Girl Scouts of Wisconsin Badgerland, and I'm here to help you get started on your shaped scavenger hunt in nature. Now what you're going to need is your shapes tally chart, photos of natural objects, access to an indoor, outdoor, or video of nature, and you're going to need a pencil. Now, we know that there are things in nature that are beautiful all around us, right? From fish in the water, to flowers in a field, to rainbows in the sky. Now, things that we find in nature are called natural objects. We also know that shapes are a really important part of math. And maybe what you didn't know are that shapes are hidden in natural objects all around us. And so your challenge today is to go on a scavenger hunt to find those hidden shapes. You're going to be acting as a naturalist and you're going to be taking field notes, which are observations and drawings and tallies or counts of what you find. You're also going to be counting them up, how many objects and shapes you find, and then just finding some really interesting um, conclusions at the end. So here's what you're going to do. First, you're going to look over that shapes tally chart. Are there any shapes there that you don't know or shapes that you do know really well, like circles and triangles and squares? Now, if you don't know what a shape is, that's okay. Go find a trusted grown-up to help you understand what those shapes are. Second, look at the photos of natural objects and you'll see that shapes really are hidden all around us. Like, look at a flower. Now the stem can be a really thin rectangle and the top of the flower can be a circle. You just gotta turn on those eagle eyes and see, right? Third, decide where you're going to do your scavenger hunt. Do you have access outside? Maybe you can go to a local park or you can go on a bike trail. Maybe you're going to do the scavenger hunt inside. Maybe it's around your house or even an inside conservatory. Or maybe you're gonna watch a video and that could be of a nature hike or a webcam of a conservancy. Then you're gonna take 15 minutes and you are going to use those eagle eyes and find those hidden shapes. Now, when you find a shape, draw it out on your, on your shapes chart, okay? So again, let's say you found a flower and you say, that's a circle. Draw what you see on that tally sheet and then make a little line hash mark to say, I found one. For every shape you find, make a little line. Now after 15 minutes, go back, count up the number of lines that you have for each shape. Then write down the number, the total of objects that you found. How many circles did you find? How many rectangles? then start thinking through those observations. How many, were there any ones that were surprising? Were there any shapes that was the hardest to find? Which shape was the easiest to find? Which one was the most? Which one was the least? And you'll start to get a sense of what nature has out there in terms of shapes. Now as a bonus activity, you can go and find other shapes. Were there diamond shapes out there maybe? Or stars, hexagons, pentagons? I bet there were pentagrams. I bet there were a bunch of shapes that you never thought that you could find in nature. So, again, I hope you have a really good time with your scavenger hunt. Best of luck to you. Thank you for joining us today. You can always find other activities to continue on your badge adventures at Girl Scouts at Home. It's been really fun explaining to you and helping get you started on this new adventure of exploration. Um, and I hope you have a fun time. Thanks again, I'm Katrine, and happy Girl Scouting out there. Bye.